Hi, I'm here to talk to you about assignment number two. Assignment number two focuses on the lectures that discuss classification and filing systems. Uh, there are a total of seven questions. Question seven is, of course, a case study. Um, and each question gives you the, a number, the amount of points that each is worth. Um, question number one, pick four of the principles of classification from the lecture notes, explain those principles, and give examples other than the examples given to you in the lecture. So an example of one of these principles, by, by the way, is logic. And you'll find this in the classification lecture. They're all laid out for you. Please put them in your own words. Use your own examples. The question is worth eight points, so you get two points per explanation for each, two points for the, um, the example that you give to me. Uh, please, be, don't, please be full in your responses. Um, don't just jot down bullet points or give me um, um, single word answers. Uh, I'd like to have a full explanation of what each of these principles uh, includes or what, what they involve. Um, you can use a table. You can use bullet point, but just be, be very full. Provide a full answer. Don't just provide a, a very brief answer. Uh, question two, explain the steps involved in conducting a records inventory and discuss the importance of conducting an inventory in developing a filing system. Five points. So three points for all the steps in uh, an inventory. The steps are laid out for you in one of the lectures and um, I, I'd like you to identify all of the steps. Don't just identify the steps, but I'd like you to explain the steps as well. Um, also, in uh, describing or discussing the importance of an inventory to developing a filing system, don't forget to provide an answer for that. Um, in our last assignment, I did find in questions like this, in some rare cases, students would do so much work on the first part, but they'd forget to do the last part. Don't forget to do the last part. Question three. Consider the example of patient records in a medical office. What are three different systems that they could be filed by? Uh, what would the differences between these systems be? And what would be the advantages and disadvantages of each? Which would you choose? Now, there's no one right fit, right, one right answer to this. Uh, what I'm looking here, looking for here, is your ability to evaluate one system with two other systems, you know, systems against each other and provide a, a reasonable, logical reason for why you would select one over the other two. So again, it's worth 10 points. Uh, eight points will be for your analysis of the three systems. Um, again, use the table if you like to do a comparison with the advantages and disadvantages. Um, but don't forget to tell me which you chose and tell me why you chose that one, okay? Question four, what is a controlled vocabulary? How is it useful? Um, it is worth five points. So the lecture is pretty clear on what a controlled vocabulary is, but put it in your own words, okay? Try not to just copy and paste it from the lecture. Um, it's okay to tell me where you got it in the lecture, but paraphrase, use your own words for it. Um, and what I'm really looking for here is why you think it's useful for uh, records management staff. Um, oh, sorry, why it's useful. Um, question five, what factors should be taken into account when identifying, arranging, storing, and accessing records? This question, um, it's worth only one point. Uh, and what I'm looking for specifically is method of access. It's in lecture three, section five under accessing records. That's specifically what I'm looking for in that, in that question. Um, you don't have to be very elaborate in your response, very detailed in your response. Um, but I am looking for um, that particular area of the lectures, lecture notes. Question six, what are unique identifiers and how are they useful to records management staff? So similar to the controlled vocabulary question, I'm looking for an understanding of what unique identifiers are and why do we use them? How are they useful to us in records management? Um, it's only worth one point though. Case study. In this instance, the case study is that you have been hired as the records manager for a local animal shelter. Uh, you have access to a, a list of all file titles, but there's no classification system in place. It's just a list of titles, no system. Your first job after you've completed the inventory uh, is to create a classification system, and that's what you're going to do. Um, a, develop a multi-level classification system for the following titles. So. 
there's a list of file types there and you're asked to have a look at um, what kind of system you would put into place and actually put it into place with these titles. You can um, create multiple levels, however many levels uh, you think is appropriate. Uh, consider the workplace. Um, consider if this could be a large and it could be a small or it could be a small animal shelter. How would that have an impact on your decisions in this response? B, this is where you give the explanation. Explain your classification system and why you made the choices you did in creating it. So this is worth 20 points. 15 points are for the classification itself. Five points for the explanation. Don't forget to give the explanation, all right? There's no one right classification that, that works in every animal shelter. But what I will be looking at is uh, internal consistency logic and the way that you um, factor in all the relevant, fact, uh, relevant issues and elements in this particular scenario. So everything you've learned up to now, and last week we looked at um, legislative compliance. Um, some of you have started looking at legislation or different um, government um, influence, government offices might influence how we manage records. And you may want to do that again with this particular question as well. Uh, if you have any questions, we do have a chat this evening. This may be late to provide answers to that. Do you think that we're going to discuss this particular assignments in tonight's chat? Um, but we do have a chat discussion in our discussion boards. We also, uh, you also have an opportunity to send me emails. And uh, if I get questions regarding the assignment, I'll, I'll post the responses just in case other people have the same kinds of same kinds of questions. Uh, if you have uh, if you have any questions about future assignments uh, and you think this video is useful, please let me know and uh, I'll, I'll put something like this together again for future assignments. All right. I'll look forward to seeing everyone tonight in the chat. If you do come to the chat, if you don't and you have the same snowstorm that we have, I hope you stay inside, warm and uh, dry. Bye.